name is Sheree and welcome to my channel. As you guys can see, my hair is not done because today I'm going to be trying out a new product. The hair product that I'm going to be trying out is by TPH by Taraji P. Henson and it is the Twist and Set Moisture Rich Twisting Cream. This product is supposed to define hydrate and elongate so I'm really interested to see how this product is going to work out I've already started the back of my hair so now I'm going to work on the front in addition to the twist and set I'm also trying out the ride or die it's a detangling leave-in conditioner and it is supposed to detangle, condition, and protect. I've washed and deep conditioned my hair last night and I just put it into four braids, which is why my hair is the way it is right now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I think this, can this be one twist? I think it could be one twist. So when I'm trying out any new product, I really like to pay attention to the directions and how they want me to use this product. They're telling me that I have to use the product on damp hair. So I'm going to dampen the section. I'm going to detangle it. Put in my leave conditioner. Kind of massage that in. And before I put the twist and set cream in my hair, I like to just get my curls forming so I'm going to take a uh, brush like a Demon type of brush and kind of brush through that section this is going to get my curls activated and start spiraling in the way that they want to go so I'm taking about this much of the cream and I'm just going to apply it to the entire section and I'm massaging the product in a downward motion into my hair. Once I feel like the product is distributed nicely or evenly through my hair, I'm going to start twisting that section. And there is our twist. So I'm going to show you again. First thing I do is spray the section with water. Push that water into my hair. I'm going to gently comb through the hair to get rid of any tangles. Next I'm going to spray the leave-in conditioner into that section of my hair and I'm going to use a brush to activate my curls. Last I'm going to take some of the twist and set and massage that into the section. Lastly, I'm going to twist the section. And as you can see, my curls are already forming a little bit. So now I'm going to use those same steps to complete the rest of my head. And I will be right back. Dry. the twists are nice and dry so I'm going to start unraveling each twist starting in the back Here are my curls. 
Right now they're really soft, really bouncy. Let's talk about these products. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've already used up about half of this product. So I'm only going to get about two uses out of this leave-in conditioner. Maybe I'm just heavy handed with my products. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that this product is also marketed for all hair types. I don't necessarily think that is true. This is a leave-in conditioner that has some weight to it. So on straight hair or even wavy hair, it may weigh your hair down. So I would not suggest all hair types for this leave-in conditioner, but that's what it's marketed towards. I'm really interested in seeing a person with straight hair use this product unless they're planning on slicking their hair down with gel. I think this is a very heavy product for straight hair. As for the deep conditioning claims, I typically get a lot of knots in my crown section. It takes me a little bit more time to comb out my crown. I cannot say that this product helped with the detangling process. Maybe for a different hair type, it would. Okay, so for the main event, the TPH Twist and Set. This product I use completely on its own. Usually when I'm doing a twist out, I like to use an oil, another type of leave-in conditioner, but I really wanted to see the product work on its own. And these are the results. As you can see, the hair is very full, very curly, very soft, not crunchy at all. However, the only issue that I have with this product is the flaking. As I was taking, I could see them flying around right now. <laughs> I hope you guys can't see that. As I was taking the twist down, I could see like the hair starting to flake. I don't know if it's because I'm pretty heavy handed with my products. That may have something to do with the amount of product that I use in my hair. I tend to be a little bit more heavy handed with my hair products. So that could be a reason as to why there's flaking. But at least there's like no white cast. Very soft, very bouncy. And yeah. These are my results. I have movement, y'all. So these are my results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs it up if you did, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!